the fight with Cameron Crea. That's when I kind of was just like, all right, something's up, yo. Um, we weren't supposed to fight Cameron Crea. And actually, they offered us Kenneth Sims for that fight. Really? Because yeah. wasn't Cameron Crea on short notice? Uh, uh, they didn't yeah, so so Cameron Crea, they had, they had tried to get a different fighter for us, right? Mm-hmm. And they said that, oh, you know, and everybody's turning him down, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, in a real, like, he was like, look, the only guy that will fight you is Cameron Crea. Take the fight, or uh, uh, if, you, if you want, you can take the fight. If not, you know, we'll get you on another card at some point. Like that. So I'm like, <laughs> I look at him, and I'm like, all right, yo, we'll, we'll fight Cameron Crea. They were like, what? I was like, yeah, we'll fight Cameron Crea. They was like, yo, are you sure, yo? I'm like, yeah. They are like, yo, bro, you got balls, bro. And I'm like, yo, so you want me to fight or you don't want me to fight? Which one is it, yo? That 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 is. You know what I'm saying? So it sound it seemed like they were trying to put guys in front of me, in front of Elvis, for me to turn down. And it was just like, yo, that's that's weird. So it is weird. That, that's when that's when it like kind of like I'm like, yo, this is like something's up. You know? So then they, they had put us on the Crawford card. Again, same thing happened. Things fell off, and then they put us on that December card. Right, so the one where he tested positive for, for COVID, but then I saw his Instagram. He tested negative when he was back. So, home. bro, I can't tell you for sure that like this is the deal, right? So, like this is my opinion. Like I can tell you facts on everything else, and if I tell you something, like if it's a fact, I'm gonna let you know. Yo, this is a fact. This is how it happened. This is what happened. You can you can bet on that. Yeah. This is my opinion of what happened in that fight. I can't tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt. We all go in. So leading up to that fight, we were offered uh, Beron. Yeah. The Argentinian kid. Argentinian he was supposed guy. to fight us in, in, um, uh, in, December. in December. Yeah. yeah. And in December, bro, you put anybody in front of Elvis at that day in that, on that card, and they were going out, bro. Because Elvis was like... Killing dudes in sparring. I mean, like, annihilating dudes, bro. Okay. So, that so we were supposed to fight Beron. Beron supposedly tested positive for COVID and couldn't come through. So, you know, I already had, like, a certain, like, feel from the Cameron Creole fight, and then we got pushed off the Crawford card, and we were in talks for prospect of the year. And I know that, like, it wasn't in their best interest nor their desire for us to be prospect of the year because they're trying to get that Puerto Rican wave. And what good is it if you have a kid who you feel don't sell and you don't have a market for him, how does that – how does making him prospect of the year help you? So so you think – I don't want to put words in your mouth. So you think they purposely – opinion, this is the opinion, not straight fact, didn't – you know, created some fake. So I'm I'm a, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into th- this, this right now. So right, okay. but on test the positive, right? Supposedly, yeah. So on that, like, yo, know, look, you're not gonna be able to fight. Blah blah. It's on the third. So I'm like, nah. Like at that point, like, yo, I'll put up bread, and I'm gonna find somebody because I want this prospect of the year because I know what that means for him. I know what that means for his career. I know what that means for for people in in general. Mm-hmm. Um, so then I start calling around and one of them, I call his, I call Veron's manager because he had other guys. Right. And I was like, yo, listen, I know this kid fucking, you know, yeah. Um, and he was like, got sick. What are you you talking about? Yo, I was like, man, you got COVID, right? And then he was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm like, yo, what you mean you're not sure? So on that one, I speak to the, these guys call me up and they're like, yo, did you speak to this guy's manager? I was like, yeah. You know, I wanted to see if they had other guys. Yo, you know, well, he wasn't involved in negotiations. Is that a third? And I'm like, okay. Then homie calls me and he's like, oh, oh yeah, he tested positive. And I'm like, bro, something's up right now, bro. Yeah. First, so then. Yeah. I end up getting, like, a list of guys who are willing to fight Elvis. And at this point, like, I'm willing to put up bread, bro. You know, I don't care because I need this, like, prospect of the year. And if he fights December, he, he wins prospect of the year, bro. 
Yeah, and, and and for the people watching, in contact, Elvis was pretty much in competition with Edgar Belanga, who was scoring first round knockouts, who's a Puerto Rican ticket. Yeah, seven. but he only fought I think two or three times, bro. And we fought five, and that was gonna be our sixth fight. No, I know. Right, so it would have been impossible for you to give him prospect of the year if he fights and knocks somebody out again, bro. So I had like a list of guys that were ready to take the fight, and then they kind of like found this Larry Fryers guy. Okay. I was like, okay. We go over there. Everybody tests negative. We do everything. We do the, um, and I, I don't know where they're like, yo, we need to talk to you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right. Um, Elvis tested positive for COVID. How, we, how everyone tested negative, but Elvis tested positive. He don't got no fucking COVID, bro. No, you know, he tested positive. I said, all right, yo, um, let's get, you know, could we retest or whatever? They're like, yo, even you, you, you can't retest because you can't, you, we can't give you the test again because you can't fight even if he tests negative. So I'm like, all right, yo, never show me the negative, never show me the positive result. So on that one, I'm like, yo, listen, do me a favor. Like, they're telling me I have to drive back. So I'm like, yo, instead of driving back, yo, let me test again. I'm going to hop on this plane and get up out of here. Yo, but we already told you if he tests again. So they were like fighting me to test again there, bro. And like okay. that, that didn't sit well with me, yo. And as soon as I arrived to LA, he got tested negative, bro. Yeah. And he got tested three times, bro. So, so you, you three times after you're saying after he got uh, tested, he got tested that he got tested as soon as we got to LA and then two more times. Wow. And okay. all of them came out negative, bro. So. When did this suspicion arise as far as Elvis being positive? Was it when you were asking for a retest or was it when you landed? When was it that you felt like, wait a minute, and, and did he feel suspicious as well? And, and So he, he felt, scared? he yeah. felt a certain, he had been feeling a certain way because, you know, he would get, when he signs for his, when, when you were at the thing, you sign for your, your check. And they give you a paper that you have to sign for, and you can see what everybody else is getting paid. And there, mm -hmm. all these guys are getting paid like crazy amounts more than him, including his opponents, bro. And his you know, the story was getting paid more than him, bro. Double and triple, bro. Wow. 